Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this footer here, you can see that this footer and now in this lecture we are going to build this products.html page. So first of all to create the products.html page you have to create a separate page that is the products.html page and here there are some, there are many things that are common in the home page and the products.html page this background this header and this is the footer so these three things are also present in the home page here this is the footer header and the background so all the page are separate here this is the index.html page this is a products page so what you need to do you just need to copy the code that is same in both files because you don't need to write the code again you don't need to waste your time you have to just copy the same code here you can see that the header code is same so here in the products.html there is no slider so you have to remove the code of the slider from the header so you just need to copy the same code from the one file to another file and here first of all I'm gonna create the new file here is the new and now here is the home page first of all I'm gonna save this file with the name of products.html in the same folder where the other index.html is saved here is and now first of all what we need to do we have to create the same things doc type html here we have not write the doc type html here i'm gonna write doc type html and what we need to do we have to copy the same code we also need this html tags header tag head tag head tag contain the title meta and these links to the css files so we need all these things because we have to uh, make made our different things a gallery inside the products.html we also need the css style file we also need the images we also need the grid.css so we have to copy all the code that we need copy this doc.html head tag these style sheets and this main and you have to copy till the header here is paste it here and now you have to remove this slider remove it so now this code we need and now what we need to do we need to copy the closing tags of the body and main here is and then we also need to copy the footer code the footer is also same here is still the footer and now place it here here is the footer so now this page is created here you see that this is the closing tags of the main and body you don't need to write this code again so that's why I copied it and I have already created it and here is the footer here is the header and in between this there is a place where we create the content area and now here is the header and all things are created now here is so here when we click on the products.html page so it's not going to be open why it is not going to be open because we have to we have not give the link of the pages here in the anchor tags here you see that this is the menu of the products page here I want to tell you another thing that every page have their own menu this is the products.html page it also have the code of the header we have copied that code and it also have the code of the footer and this is a technology.html it have their own code so every page have their own code and we have to give the link of the pages here you see that this is the products.html and here when we click on the home so it go to the index.html but here we also need to give the link of the page here is the products.html when we click on the products so products.html is going to be open and we have not created the technology page pressing page so that's why I have not give these links and here is the 
index page and in the index page that is the home page when we click on the products so it is not going to be open here you see that this is the index page and when we click on the product so it is not going to be open why because here you see that in the index page when we click on the product so it cannot contain any link so we have to give the link of the pages in every menu that is in every page here you see that this is the products page and now I'm gonna reload it and now when we click on the product so products page is open we have not provided content so that's why it look like this and now in the products page when we click on the home so it is also going to be open and another thing you have to provide you have to set provide the menu separately for all the pages here you can see that products.html have their own menu you have to provide the links and the next thing is here you see that we are on the products.html and this arrow image is apply on this uh, home because we have copied this menu from the home and the current class that is applying the image and that color is on the list item of the home and we have to apply this apply this current class on the list item of the products here is this so now it is ready and now what you need to do you just need to create the content area here in the products.html and now in between this we have to create the section for this we have to copy this section and the div and here it is and here copy the closing tags and here it is this code is same in the content area so that's why I have copied first of all we have to create the container then we have to create a div who have the row and the content background class to insert the content background and now here I'm gonna create another thing we have to place all of these products inside a section so that's why here I'm gonna create a section here is the section here is the closing tag of the section and now first of all we will create the heading here is the h2 here is the h2 and here we have to write our products and now let's reload it so here it is present so now here I want to tell you something that all of these images and the text is placed inside this section we have to place here all the images but here I want to tell you something that first of all we will place these first three images in this row first row contain three images and we will place these three images in a single div then we will make another div and then we will place these three images and then we will make another div and then we will place these three images in that div and now here it is first of all we have to create a div here is a div and here is the class here is the wrapper and then here is the intent bottom and here is the closing tag of the div so now in this div first of all we will place these first three images in this div then we will create the same div like this and then we will place the next three images so first of all here is the div and here is the class adjust three and here is the div closing tag and then here is the div and here is the class wrap call and then here is the div and now here I'm going to add some space around it and then here I'm going to place the image the first image here is the source 
and here is the images and then here is the page 2 here is the image 1.jpg and then here is the class image indent so by using this class we can add margin on the bottom and the top side of the image and here we will give the 33% width to the adjust 3 or in other words each image and the text have the 33% width after this we have to place the description list here is the description list here I'm going to add the space and here is the space here is the description list closing tag of the description list and here is the class here I'm going to place extra and here is the wrap and here is a definition list one and we have already defined the style for the definition list one and here in between this description list we have to place the description term here is the description term and here is the anchor tag and here first of all I'm gonna place the description in carrot and then here is its description dd and I'm gonna copy the description here it is here is the description and here I'm gonna add some space around the description and here is it is starting from this and this and now I'm gonna execute it so here it is present and all things so now I'm gonna adjust it by giving it the styles first of all I'm gonna check while the adjust 3 is created or not it is created and now I'm gonna give the style to this extra wrap I'm gonna give it display as a block so whole description list is display as a block and I'm gonna give it overflow hidden here is extra wrap here it is overflow hidden here it is now let's render it here it is so now I'm gonna give the style here save it and now here I'm gonna give the style to the image indent give it the margin on its top and the bottom here it is and now here at the end here is the indents here it is here I'm gonna give the float left to the image float left to the image and here is the margin I'm gonna give the margin around the image 5 pixel on the top 10 pixel on the left side 0 and 0 for the other sides so now let's execute it here it is adjusted so now it is just same and now I'm gonna give the style to this image indent bottom here you see that what is the function of this indent bottom here I want to tell you something that indent bottom is just used for adding the padding on the bottom side of the div so this space is created by using this indent bottom class we have already give the indent bottom padding 32 pixel and now what we need to do in the first div in the first div we have to create three images so now here I'm gonna copy the code 
we just need to change the images in this div we will put three images so now here I'm gonna copy the code and paste two more times here it is here it is and now here I'm gonna change the names of the images here is the two here is the three and now let's reload it so here are the images are present and you can change this text so to create the below line what you need to do you just need to create this wrapper div again and then you have to put the three times this code so I'm gonna copy it and then I will change the names just the names of the images and then the new images are inserted here is the new one div here I'm gonna change it to the four here is the five here is the six and now it is inserted and now I'm gonna copy the div for the third one but here you see that it have the border bottom on its bottom side and it have more padding so we have to edit it little bit here I'm gonna paste it and here is here we have to give the HR border one to create the border bottom HR border one and here is the indent bottom here is indent bottom one to create more padding on the bottom side and here is I'm gonna change the names of the images and here is these images are present and here is we have already defined the style for the indent bottom one so the bottom side padding is 60 pixel and now here another thing is we have to create this link button so I'm gonna copy its code from the index.html here we have already created this here is its div and all the things and now at the end we have to paste this code after the closing tag of the wrapper here is the closing tag of the wrapper and place it after it here it is and now reload it this is not this is the page so now here you see that it is created and in the next lecture I'm gonna build the technology page and here I'm gonna show you the technology page this is the technology page and first of all we will build this site and at the very first what we need to do we have to create the technology.html page then we will copy the code of the header and the footer that is same we will adjust the menu we will give the links of the other pages and then we will create this part and then this part so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video